What's up guys, welcome back to another video. It's been a while, it's been crazy, um, but I am going to be posting weekly again. So make sure to drop a sub, like and comment if you're new here, and don't forget to turn the notification bell on. In this video, I'm going to be showing you my new 3D mockup I have available on my store. A lot of you have been asking about creating a mockup with backgrounds, so this is it. The first of many, um, so I hope you do enjoy this. Let's get into it. So the first thing you want to do is head over to my site, uh, link is in description. Um, and head over to the Sunset Backdrop 3D Mockup. It's $10 currently. Um, it includes a Blender file, texture files, Photoshop file, and then your Chloe and Marvelous files. Um, just note it is 2.6 gigs. So if you aren't able to download it for some reason, there won't be any refunds. But once you have downloaded that, you should get everything that's in this file here, except for this Creature World logo. Everything in this bundle is tailored for um, everybody to use. So I haven't included like the actual Creature's hoodie. Um, but you'll get your your clo file is here or marvelous your blender file then you have your obj's as well as your rocks uh, and then your uv file and your texture file and then i've included some previews so you can see what it looks like if you render it yourself so let's open up blender when you open up blender you'll be presented with a preview like this uh, on the top left you can just open up your shader preview and it should look realistic just bear in mind that this file is intensive so depending on your pc it might battle just keep that in mind if you don't have a high-end PC. But what, what we have here is a couple of uh, camera movements. Um, so on the bottom here, you can see from zero to 90 uh, is kind of your first scene, which is like front facing. Then from 91 to 181 is a shot of the hoodie on a rock. Uh, then we go back to the, the hoodie in the field. It's just a close up and then also another closer up shot of the hoodie itself for those who want to change the hoodie and add your own branding to it you can also use any of the mockups in my store um, so you can actually import those into here i'm going to be showing you another video on how to create it but this is just going over this mockup itself um, if you are familiar with my mockups you can go ahead and just add your own in uh, if you just want to use the background with your own designs um, so once we have everything set up We've got all our textures, everything's good. You can open up the Photoshop file now, which is this hoodie UV. Uh, once you've opened up this, you'll be presented with a rectangle layer. Um, and then this is just splitting the two layers of white and green. Um, and then your base layer, which you don't have to worry about. Um, if you want to change the color to say black, uh, you can just double click on this rectangle and it should open up a color picker. And let's actually change it to, so maybe you want a yellow color um, and you want to add in a logo. So I'm just going to drag and drop this creature logo. You can use any logo you want. I'm going to drop that in here. Uh, I'm going to put it on the right side of the hoodie. Um, so you can just select that, press Control T on your keyboard and place it about there. I'm also going to make it a different color. Um, let me just change, change it to subtracted. And then I've got a black logo on a yellow T. And I'm also just going to copy by pressing Control C and Control V, copy and paste it, press Control T to scale it. And I'm also going to put this down the sleeve of the hoodie, like so. And hit apply. And then all you can do is hit save and it should save and update the Photoshop file. And we can go back into Blender and let's go to our front view. All you have to do is just change your viewport shader and then change it back to your material shader and it should be updated and just like that it's been updated for you um, as you can see you got your creature world logo there you can see it there from the top view and then the close-up you can see it and then if we change to our cycles preview in this tab um, we can see that it has been updated on the sleeve as well just like that so if you, if you want to get a shot of the sleeve you can just set up the camera angles and then you should have it updated. For those who want to get a little bit of extra depth of field, um, you can go over to your camera on the top here, this layer, and you want to turn on depth of field. Um, and all the points have been set up already, so you can get that nice soft look for all your renders. For rendering this out, uh, all the settings are already set up, but depending on your PC, it could take a while. So this is 360 frames. Um, so mine took around a, a minute per frame, which leaves you with six hours to render out the whole thing. I normally just do it overnight. But yeah, so my max samples are 300. If you have a lower end PC, I would take it down to maybe 100, 128. Um, and make sure you have persistent data on just to improve your render time. That helps a bit. 
Um, from there, what you want to do is go to your output settings and you can set up your resolution. I normally do around 1080 by 1920 because that's social media. And then you want to se select your output. So say you want to export to your desktop, just click your desktop, press accept. And then you want to change your file format to FFmpeg video. And then in encoding, there's a little preset thing here. You want to click that and change it to H.264 in MP4. Once you click that, you can go up to the top left and hit render animation and it'll start rendering out frame by frame. To get an idea of how long it's going to take, you can render the first frame um, and it will tell you how long that frame is going to take and then you times it by 360 and that will give you your render time. I am going to be dropping a video on how to use render farms so make sure to stick around for that in the future. As you can see it's already done 200 out of 300 samples and it's looking around to take a minute per frame as I said. And once this is done rendering the whole entire sequence, you'll get a video sequence and you can either just post it straight like that and add some sound on TikTok or Instagram or uh, you can add it into DaVinci or Premiere Pro and edit it from there. For those who just want to render a frame, you can just go render image. Uh, it will do the same settings that you put in for video. Uh, and it can just render a frame for you. That also looks pretty cool on social media. Uh, sometimes just having a still. Yeah, so I hope you guys did enjoy this video. That's pretty much it from that side. Stick around to see how I created this entire scene from scratch. Um, and I'll also be showing you how you can add some wind simulation in Clo 3 d uh, which you can use with all of my products on my store to add into this template. I hope you guys did enjoy this video. Please make sure to drop a like, comment, sub if you're new here. And don't forget to turn the notification bell on. I'll see you guys in the next one. Peace.